Hello, in today's video we are going to talk about transmission of one character via RS-232 serial communication from ESP32 to SCOPE in ESP IDF environment. First, um, uh, we will present our pinout. We are taking the uh, evaluation board with relevant pin for the TX transmission and connect it to channel 1 in the scope and also connect the grounds. The question is how we recognize this pin and so uh, we should look on the stream of at least my board that I am using which is ESP32 development kit version 1. In different uh, boards the pins might be different but important thing that we are talking about a, a, a zero a group uh, of the UART. You see here we have a TX and RX of uh, the uh, UART and this is a zero group. Here we have a TX and RX of the group number two and also it's possible to define in this uh, uh, board the group number one but we in this video are talking only the TX and RX of group number zero and this thing is important in the, our definition. Please note that the number of pins are 41 from transmission and it's defined and uh, 40 for uh, reception and it's defined as GPIO 1 and GPIO 3. Those definitions are important. So this is our goal. As always, uh, we are looking on the expressive documentation and our uh, uh, base is Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmission UART page which describes uh, how uh, this code can be written uh, in a, a very collaborative way, in a very vast and, uh, and detailed explanation here and also uh, they have a few examples which are good uh, at the end here I will show you uh, those are the examples as always on our channel we think we took those examples and simplified as much as we could and here in in the github repository of the sims IoT devices inside a repository RS232 transmit we have a relevant code here which is uh, as simple as we can uh, minimize it after copying the code to our editor uh, I will compile the code and in, in parallel we'll uh, talk about it a bit uh, okay uh, so we have the include definitions here we, we define the buffer size those two lines are extremely important here we define that the, our UART group is zero and the TX is one and the RX is three because because now you see it's sending a just one second because gpio one and three those two numbers it's very important after it um, we initiate a uh, we initiate our communication we have a bound rate which working in our case uh, we are working in 8-bit the parity bit is disabled which is important which means zero we will see it in the show, show in, in a while and uh, uh, stop bit and flow control 
uh, parameters. Uh, those are the basic commands for uh, serial communication initiation. Our task, TX task, we are sending one character, A, and we write it as data. Uh, the length is uh, one, and um, uh, we are sending this byte via RS232 uh, communication and wait for five seconds. Here you see every five seconds we are adding A and sending it uh, via uh, the relevant uh, pin. Our main is uh, starting point, send data, and an infinite init and an infinite loop. Uh, the important thing is to look what is A. If we if we will look at A as a binary here, this is a binary presentation of A, and if we add the parity bit, which is zero, as you can see here we got this number so uh, uh, so if we will uh, look on the um, scope output here you can see and please rem you, you you see this number and and uh, i will show it again Zero one, uh, zero 01 and the end 10 and uh, let's look here it's is it's of course uh, the steady state which is one in uh, our, our ex, uh, uh, serial communication we have zero one zero 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 one zero which is exactly the number that we have here also in our scope we have a decoding an automatic decoding and we see it as a which is uh, correct uh, please note the voltage level each each uh, y uh, axis is uh, two volts uh, division and uh, the time for each uh, x axis axis is uh, uh, 20 uh, nanoseconds Okay, so in this example, we demonstrated an output of one character via RS232 communication uh, and uh, received this uh, transmission via the scope. Thank you.